the synthesis of monosubstituted amines via simple SN2 reaction between ammonia and an alkyl halide is problematic. The initial nucleophilic attack and displacement of the leaving group proceeds exactly as expected. However, the resultant ammonium ion can shed a proton to the medium, thereby reinstalling the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen. This monosubstituted amine is more nucleophilic than ammonia due to the electron donating nature of its alkyl group. Consequently, the first molecules of monosubstituted amine that are formed will react with the remaining alkyl halide faster than ammonia will. This results in a second alkylation of the nitrogen atom. And the addition of yet another alkyl group makes the nitrogen even more nucleophilic once it loses a proton. As a result, alkylation continues to occur until the nitrogen can be alkylated no further. So if our goal was to prepare a monosubstituted amine, then this is an undesirable result. The Gabriel synthesis provides a solution to this problem. Thalamid is used as the source of the nitrogen atom in the monosubstituted amine product. Thalamid is first deprotonated, then alkylated, and finally the undesired portion of the reactant is cleaved off using nucleophilic acyl substitution. The end result is selective synthesis of a monosubstituted amine. The first step of the reaction is merely the deprotonation of thalamid, which can be accomplished with a moderate base such as hydroxide because thalamid is fairly acidic, having a pKa less than 10. Thalamid's acidity results from the fact that its conjugate base, the thalamid anion, has resonance stabilization provided by two adjacent carbonyls. But of course, the thalamid anion is electron rich, so it can serve as a good nucleophile for SN2 reaction with an unhindered alkyl halide. It attacks the electrophilic carbon and displaces a halide leaving group. Notice that a new nitrogen to alkyl group bond has been formed. Additionally, no further alkylation occurs because the lone pair on nitrogen is delocalized into the two carbonyls, making it fairly unreactive. In the final step of the Gabriel synthesis, the aromatic ring and its two carbonyls are cleaved from the nitrogen to liberate the desired monosubstituted amine. And there are multiple ways to achieve this goal but they all entail nucleophilic acyl substitution. It may be useful to review the video on nucleophilic acyl substitution of amides for mechanisms relevant to this process. Basic or acidic hydrolysis can be used. These reactions are extremely similar to the hydrolysis reactions we saw in the nucleophilic acyl substitution of amides video. The only difference is that the nucleophilic acyl substitution occurs twice, once at each carbonyl. On this slide, those two hydrolysis options are diagrammed. Treatment of the substrate with aqueous base leads to cleavage of the undesired portion of the molecule and liberation of the free monosubstituted amine. Alternatively, treatment of the substrate with aqueous acid also cleaves the substrate liberating the amine. There is a slight difference between the two methods. Basic hydrolysis yields the amine in its neutral form 
and the byproduct is phthalate, the dicarboxylate. On the other hand, acidic hydrolysis provides the amine in protonated form and the byproduct as phthalic acid, the dicarboxylic acid. A third option for this cleavage is the use of hydrazine, which also performs double nucleophilic acyl substitution so as to afford the neutral monosubstituted amine, that's our product of interest, and 1,4-phthalazine dione as a byproduct. And that final option is diagrammed on this slide. The substrate may be treated with hydrazine so as to clip off the undesired portion of the reactant as its diamide. The monosubstituted amine is released during this process. In the following specific example, benzylamine is prepared from thalamid by deprotonation, alkylation, and nucleophilic acyl substitution. The deprotonation of thalamid proceeds smoothly when hydroxide is used, giving the thalamid anion. The thalamid anion can then be treated with benzyl bromide to achieve alkylation through SN2 reaction. Finally, basic hydrolysis, acidic hydrolysis, or treatment with hydrazine will liberate benzylamine. Depending upon the conditions chosen, either benzylamine or its conjugate acid will be produced. All three options are diagrammed on this slide. Notice that basic hydrolysis or treatment with hydrazine will release benzylamine. Alternatively, acidic hydrolysis will release the conjugate acid of benzylamine. In summary, the Gabriel synthesis allows for the selective preparation of monosubstituted amines without any danger of overalkylation. Thalamid is always the reactant for a Gabriel synthesis. It is deprotonated to yield the thalamid anion, which is then treated with an alkyl halide bearing the R group desired in the ultimate amine product. After alkylation, the monosubstituted amine is liberated through double nucleophilic acyl substitution in acid, base, or using hydrazine. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.